Here with Northwestern State Volleyball Head Coach Sean Kirikoff, a very short week or a long yeah. week, depending how you look on it. Short in terms of matches, just one. Long in terms of getting there. Saturday at Southeastern and Coach, uh, long trip this weekend. You went out west. You had some bus trouble. So I know there's probably been some good rest out of this, but at times you also maybe worry about rust. Yeah, I mean, but I think I, I look at it as a good thing. I mean, you get a little extra time to, to work on a few very specific things in practice, and you don't feel rushed that you've got to put um, two scouts into a practice plan in a limited amount of time. So I'll, I'll always take the extra time. Uh, you, you mentioned it. You're going to go down to Southeastern, and you've had plenty of time to prepare for them. And I think when you look at it on paper, they're struggling through a tough yep. year, a new coach, uh, adjusting to that. I know probably if there's one team in this conference, though, that, that in the past few years, you know better than to look ahead to or look over or look past and Yeah, yeah. Uh, they've stung us a few times. And, you know, even even though their, their win-loss isn't very great right now, they've, off the top of my head, I think they've gone four sets um, in their last five matches. And those have been against Sam Houston, Abilene Christian, um, which, you know, we went four with also. So it's, it's not any team. And no team in this conference is somebody that you can just sleep on um, and expect that it's going to be an easy matchup. So we're going to have to show up and play. And, you know, they've had a group that's been getting a lot of playing experience uh, throughout the season, and they're getting better. And like I said, they're going forward with people, so they're right there in a position to be able to beat somebody. Six matches left in the regular season. It's kind of an odd finish. One next, one this week, two next week, and three after that before you head into the tournament. Does there seem to be a sense of urgency kind of building in the locker room? It does. Um, you know, every year um, you look at the conference schedule and it's either the first half or the second half is a little bit tougher than the other. Um, for us this year, it's the first half, you know, and I think we have some great matchups here to, to close out before the tournament. Um, but you got to show up and go to work and, and get those wins and put yourself in a good position at the end of the year. Um, whereas last year, you know, we had a little bit of that cushion because of, we had some more wins in the first half. Um, we don't have it this year to be able to feel comfortable with. Um, but like I said, we've got some great matchups that we can go out there and feel that we can get some wins and we just need to make sure that we go out there and do that. You got to feel too that maybe there's some consistency building through Hannah Brister. She yeah. seems to have been really the last few matches getting in a groove and as you talk, we've, talk, we've talked about before, you've kind of flipped her back and forth, but she seems to really have been a more consistent offensive presence, mm -hmm. not just hitting percentage-wise, but being there, taking a big swing. Um, yeah, she's been fantastic. Um, a lot of offense coming from her, and like you said, coming at moments where we need it the most, um, which is what you want from any of your players as they develop. Um, more importantly, you know, I think she's getting a little bit more comfortable in the back row and, and in service scene, um, which is a big deal for if you're going to be that six rotation player. Um, but, uh, you know, as much as I talk about the versatility that, that allows us for, for what Hannah can provide, um, it just is, is that much more that we can uh, count on from everybody because we have a lot of different people that we can put out there and leave on the court in a lot of different situations and be, um, be successful. And for her, it's also good. It always seems she seems to play well the farther south you go. <laughs> yes. Big matches at New Orleans yep. and Nichols earlier this year. Is it simply a comfort factor? And I know a lot of people along I-10, I went to college down there. They don't like to go north of I-10, but That's she true. seems to really play well down around home. It's a couple degrees warmer. It's a little bit more humid. It, it just, it's right at home. The gumbo's better now. Yes, that's true. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you.